What is going on, everybody? It's Alex coming back here with another video. And today, we are doing round two of doing five rounds of this mock. Dude, it feels so good to be back. I, I miss these mocks so much. We're going to have a lot of this stuff coming in the future, man. We're going to be doing multiple different variations of this because, obviously, we got to do that as time progresses. Obviously, free agency is going to change a lot of things. Carson Wentz trade might change some things. Lots of stuff going to be happening, and I love it. Keep your eyes peeled out because that franchise guy and I are potentially collaborating on a – um uh, two person mock so just keep your eyes out for that it should be really fun i hope that it does happen so get your ass on marcus so he can do it with me now let's get into this draft let's have some fun starting off with the first pick um i'm gonna actually shrink my face down a little bit because a y'all don't want to see me that much much as all as much as y'all love me i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me that much plus we get to hit the trade button uh with this pick we've already gone after kyle pitts as well as trevor lawrence amazing draft so far right Obviously, we need to get some protection. It's either protection or corner. And if I'm not mistaken, we did already go with Sante Samuel Jr. We need to go a heavy man corner. And unfortunately, the guy, the next guy who's really good at man is Tyson Campbell. And I'm not going to be taking him here when there are guys like Tevin Jenkins, Dylan Reduns, or Reduns. I'm not 100% sure how to say his name. Alex Leatherwood, who is a guard to me. So realistically, Tevin Jenkins has done an amazing job. You know, he, uh, I'm pretty sure he's barely let any pressure in at all throughout his entire career. He's going to be a very high level starter day one for Trevor Lawrence. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. My freaking uh, mouse is having a damn spaz attack there. We do have class coming up within like 30 minutes. So we're going to try to keep this a little bit quicker. Jets, let's look at you guys. You guys could use a corner right now. Uh, but again, we already fixed up the line, already got a wide receiver. There are the top running backs on the board. I know that uh, TFG Marcus wouldn't want this, but we got to go running back here. And we already have kind of a power back in LaMichael P. Ryan. So we, there's no need to get a three down guy who has some tread off, off his tires. Obviously, we already got some tread taken off uh, Travis Etienne as well. Javante Williams would be an interesting option, but we got to go the guy who's the three down back. So um, Najee's just a little bit too much power. Etienne's going to be more that Camara esque back, something that this team could use in an RBBC role and do it very effectively. I don't think that Najee Harris should be RB1 in this class. Uh, I, I do like Najee a lot, a lot. But again, I am worried with how many carries he does get. ETN's shown some red flags as well, but I don't think that's enough to drive him that far down in the rankings. Now, Dolphins fans, don't go ballistic, but you guys are not getting Najee Harris here. As much as you guys want to, I'm targeting Javante Williams later in this round. Just saying. Uh, I'm going to be looking at wide receiver, though, because we do want to build on this squad. So looking at the guys who are available, you got Dwayne Eskridge here, who I love. I'm in love with Dwayne Eskridge, man. You got Nico Collins, a much larger wide receiver, somebody who could go high. Rondale Moore as well. I think given the fact that all these guys are here, uh, I don't like how Demetri Felton's playing just wide receiver in uh, in this apparently. I think this would be a good spot to trade down or to select a guard. You know, I honestly, as much as I want to get a wide receiver right now, there are so many good guys that are going to be there at the top of the third as well that we could go after a Tylen Wallace, a Dwayne Eskridge. Um, you can look at Demetric Felton in the third as well. Sage Surratt, no, fuck Sage Surratt. Uh, Seth Williams, you know, there's a lot of guys down the board. Uh, Cornell Powell has shown some stuff too. To where we don't need to be going wide receiver at this spot. Dude, if Wyatt Davis is on the board, we want to run the ball as well, right? Wyatt Davis might be the right pick. But to be fair, we do need a center. We need a center pretty badly. I believe Ted Karras is our center right now. Creed Humphrey will play center or guard, and he played better than Wyatt Davis, in my opinion. He looked really good in the senior bowl. We are 100% going to be going Creed Humphrey. I like switching it around and getting the running back here and Creed later. But with how well Creed played, I might have went Trey Smith as well. But, dude, if we got our tackle and then we kick Robert Hunt to guard, I think Creed Humphrey at center is going to be brilliant. I love that so much. You're going to be able to rebuild this entire offensive line within one year. Think about the Indianapolis Colts. We, like, pride them on their offensive line. They had the worst offensive line one year before they became the best. Just fix the line, get your pieces, and be able to roll from there because – Everything will be easy to fall in place after that. Uh, Falcons. Falcons, we got to look at some edge presence for you guys badly. And we're looking at it. We got Boogie Basham on the board, man. Boogie Basham's good. Quincy Roche is good. Uh, there's Jason Away here as well. Dude, Najee Harris is on the board, though. We might need to go with a running back at the spot, given the fact that, again, like there's, there's a lot of guys who have fallen quite a bit. Jordan Smith down the line, Patrick Jones, Joe Tryon, these guys who could be there later on. I think that it is possible for us to get that later on versus I think that there's a huge drop off after these top four. And I think these top four might be gone by the next pick. And I don't think you got, you want Michael Carter to be your true back. 
And if you're getting um, Justin Fields, you're going to want more of like a Trey Sermon-esque type of back, J.K. Dobbins type of back. But Najee Harris is that plus more. I love Najee Harris to the squad. You already have an offensive line that is developing very well, and you guys are going to be able to kick some ass. Now, Bengals, I think this is a very crucial spot to be able to get a guard. You guys probably want to tackle badly, right? You guys probably are like, dude, we need to tackle. Alex Leatherwood's there. You know, I'm considering taking Leatherwood because he can, he can play guard. But to be honest, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Dude, Trey Smith is on the board. And if we think about it correctly, yes, your tackles are pretty garbo. I'm going to be straight up. Like, I, obviously, you guys, I believe, have Jonah Williams. That is wonderful. You need that one more tackle spot. But it, if I'm not mistaken, it was Michael Jordan who let in the guy who totally destroyed the ACL of Joe Burrow. And when I look down the line, unless you're getting like Ben Cleveland or Sedarius Hutchinson, maybe Jack Anderson, who plays center, you're not going to be getting a solid guard. That, that's just my opinion. Trey Smith is the guy. Trey Smith, he's just, he's so good. He's worth a first round pick. Apart from these blood clots that he's had, which he's been cleared from, he deserves to be a mid to early first because he is such a beast. He's a straight mauler, man. I love Trey Smith so much. Really good in the run game. You just put Joe Mix on like a four year contract. Get him the help he needs. Eagles. We, I mean, dude, we we might we might have to go wide receiver here, but I mean, Rondell Moore. That's kind of already similar to a role that we want Jalen Rager to play. I think we got to look at linebacker here and got Dylan Moses on the board with this team. Like you, we're already taking a a, a cornerback, right? We took, of course, Caleb Farley. Obviously, we want to build the offense. One hundred percent, we want to build the offense. And actually, the more I look at it, it's like shoot. To be honest, though, we do need linebacker, like nobody's business. And yes, we can get Jabril Cox later, though. Honestly, I think that we want to probably get a little bit more draft capital, given the fact that we want to get wide receivers as well as um, a lot of more talent on the board. So looking at the guys who are on the board, there's still Mac Jones here. And there is a team that probably wants to – there's probably a team in here that wants to get a quarterback, right? So looking at them, um, it could be the Broncos. The Broncos could be wanting – a guy like that. We could be looking even at the Cowboys if they want, if Dak Prescott continues to hold out and just not want to sign long term, that's going to be an issue. We look at the Patriots, they already got Trey Lance. So honestly, I think that it could be realistic for Mac Jones to be falling quite a bit. But um, I mean, even the, even the Lions could be taking him. I think uh, if we're going to be honest, I think that the, um, why am I blanking on the Broncos name? The Broncos are going to be trading up here. The Broncos are kind of tired of Drew Locke. He hasn't really shown anything. And, I mean, he's had a couple flashes here and there. If you guys want to say anything is uh, a little bit of an overstatement, I'll 100% agree with that. But he hasn't really shown too much. Add in a fifth-round pick here. You know, the Eagles, that's going to be that's going to turn out to be a lineman that you guys can use later on. You guys found, like, Jack Driscoll, Prince Tega, uh, Prince Tega Winogo in the later rounds a couple drafts ago. Or maybe it might have been even last draft. But you know what? This is going to be able to help you guys build Mac Jones up. You guys already have a solid ass line. You guys extended Garrett Bowles, Garrett Bowles it might be Garrett Bowles. Yeah. Uh, and then you already have a uh, solid right tackle on Juwan James. You're building your offensive line. Mac Jones is going to have a lot of weapons to throw to, including Jerry Judy, who he probably has a little bit of experience with, uh, with from last year. I like Mac Jones here. He should be going at this about this range. I've heard that he probably won't be there past 15, which is a little scary to me, but it is what it is. Uh, of course, Lions, we gotta go. We got. We probably have to go linebacker for you guys, but I mean, damn. Like, do you want to go Dylan Moses to be your one shot at a linebacker? I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm sensing a trade back here as well, just because there are guys like Alex Otherwood on the board for a team that needs a guard or a tackle. There, there is Christian Barmore on the board that we could take here, but I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. To be honest, there's also a team that could be taking a safety here. The Cowboys are trading up. The Cowboys are trading up at this spot. Because they're going to be like, well, I mean, if we want Dak to actually want to stay, because most likely he'll be under franchise tag here, right? We want Dak to stay. We're going to show him that we're willing to move up and get the capital that we want. So we're going to offer, because I'm pretty sure what, this jump got a fifth round pick. We're going to toss in a fifth round pick as well. So we're we're doing that fifth round because honestly, like apart, apart from a couple corners, we really we really don't need too much more. Trayvon Morrig is going to be playing as our true Free slash strong safety. He does play free safety, but dude, I love Trayvon Morig so much. He's a great guy. You guys already know this. Every single draft I do, I love getting Trayvon Morig. I think he'll he might be gone to the Eagles by the next pick. That that's just the thing. They have to jump the Eagles to get him. Similar to how they got CD Lamb because they didn't want him to be on the Eagles. I'm sure they don't want Trayvon Morig to be on the Eagles. 
Panthers. Panthers, we got to go linebacker for you guys. There's no doubt in my mind. Looking at it, Dylan Moses might be the guy who we take a shot on. You already have a pretty high floor prospect there with uh, Zach Wilson, but Dylan Moses is going to be the guy. He 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 does have liability in coverage. I'm not going to lie. He likes to hold in coverage, but to be fair, he is going up against higher end uh, line uh, running backs and stuff, so he has potential. That's all. We're just going to be banking on potential here. If there's going to be somebody who gets potential out of him, it's going to be Matt Rule. That's all I can say. Eagles, uh, we might have to go linebacker here, but we can't, right? We might want to go safety here, but we probably should. This is another spot. I just feel like we really do need to dra- uh, drop back. I mean, jump back a little bit. There are some high quality guards, tackles on the board, uh, running backs on the board. You know, there are teams that might be wanting to move up to be able to get that. That team might be the, the Dolphins might be trying to jump up to be able to select Javante Williams. I'm not going to lie. Is there a team in here that might select Javante though? I can't see it. I can't see it at all. So I'm not really 100% down for that, but there are teams that probably need a guard. Um, One of those teams being the Chargers. The Chargers are going to move up and take Leatherwood. So this is going to be, it's going to be another small trade here, but the Chargers are going to jump up a little bit and they're going to select a high quality guy who could play guard or tackle. Again, we're doing a fifth round pick. I think that's the good value to move up a couple spots in this, uh, in this part of the draft. So we're taking Alex Leatherwood in and profiling him as a guard we could be taking white davis here but i think he's a little too run heavy and raw right now alex leatherwood is polished at both tackle and guard so he will be able to take over for bulaga as well i hate the fact that white davis is falling i love white davis so much he should be a first round pick but right now he's not that's the only thing that that's all i can say um lions honestly i'm intrigued on getting you a second corner because I'm pretty sure that Desmond Trufant's not your secondary uh, your secondary leader, and Jeff Okuda probably needs somebody to hang out with. But with that being said, Christian Barmore is on the board. I don't want to continue drafting back because it is unrealistic. Christian Barmore probably will be gone by this point, but we're going to have to draft him here. That's all I can say. we got to draft him right there. That's going to be the pick. Now, at this spot, though, Giants, I think we got to go more of a corner style, right? Obviously, I think you guys like George uh, Cor- not Georgia corners, because obviously you guys have probably some PTSD from Georgia corners. As much as I want to draft you some Tyson Campbell, can't really do that, right? So I'm going to be looking more into the Ifatu Melifonwu craze. He's really solid man corner. Greg Newsom as well, really solid man corner. Honestly, with the youth of Greg Newsom, it might be the right pick. Like if, if you're looking at him, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these guys, obviously it's a little bit of an age difference. But I like Greg Newsom here, but I've heard some first round buzz on Melifonwu. I think we got to go that way. Robinson is a lot older. He's a redshirt senior. Pretty sure he's about like 25, 26 years old. Uh, 24, 25, excuse me. So I'm 100% down to go that route. And uh, unfortunately, Tyson Campbell might be going at this spot to the Niners. They definitely have to build up that secondary. And I'm looking at it. Mac Jones would have been an interesting target for them, but they're not going to go Kyle Trask. Man, I really wanted uh, I really wanted the, the cards to be able to do they? Oh, they did get a corner. Okay. I don't feel bad. Well, screw it. Tyson Campbell is going to be a great man corner for the Niners. They love their grabbing man corners. He could turn out to be similar to Richard Sherman. Eagles, now we might have to take a linebacker. And looking at the guys, Baron Browning's good. Chaz Surratt's good. Pete Werner's good. I think Jabril Cox is going to fit best on the squad out of all of these guys. I think that he's just good. He's good. He's really good. Very rangy, uh, really high quality guy. We already know they like North Dakota State guys. Obviously, they're trading away their main guy from North Dakota State, but that wasn't a personality issue until a quarterback came into the room. Jabril Cox, he's going to be the guy here. He's going to be a reach. Not going to be a reach. He's a really talented guy. I don't have any real negative things to say about him, except he's a little bit older. But on a roster that has so many problems, get a guy who you know is going to actually be pretty good. Barrett Browning, speaking of, has really horrific uh, personality problems, according to um, reports. So looking at uh, the – why am I saying the Panthers? Looking at the Jags. We might have to go safety here, guys, because if I'm not mistaken, the Jaguars, let's just pop open a random trade to the Raiders. Uh, Yeah, their next pick is the fourth round. As much as I want to get a corner, like, damn, can we we wait on a safety, though? I think we got to wait on a safety, guys. I know you guys need it so badly, but if I'm looking down the line, maybe we can get Keith Taylor. You guys got to get that secondary second corner. Greg Newsom's going to be young, and he's going to be able to grow with, uh, with your, obviously, your star, C.J. Henderson. I think that's going to be a great pick. I'd love to give you guys Pat Fryermuth right there. But guess what? You got Kyle Pitts. So Greg Newsom is going to be a wonderful guy. You got Tevin Jenkins, Greg Newsom. You got some young and old talent coming into the squad. Some polished guys as well as some younger guys. Now, 
pass. Pass, you already got a really solid um, quarterback, right? Like potentially. Pat Fryermuth might be a great pick here. It's either Pat Fryermuth or Rondale Moore. It's weird that Rondale's falling this far. He normally does, but I just don't like the idea of him falling this far. Pat Fryermuth has got to be the pick, though. Pat Fryermuth, just, he's a little bit Gronk-esque, and I love the idea of just him on the Patriots. Solid pass catcher. I think he deserves to be a mid-second. Really like him. Uh, cards, we got to get some pass rush for you guys. And, dude, like Jason Away might be a perfect fit. Because I know, obviously, you guys probably would like more of the the faster type of guys and Jason always four two speed. He could have played that Hassan Reddick role very well. Obviously under the condition that Hassan Reddick is brought back, we don't need that, but Jason away is just too high end value for this team to not take him. You guys are eight and eight. You, are, you guys won't probably have this ability to get that high quality of a pass rush. You got the corner. Now get some ed- extra edge presence under the case that Chandler Jones wants to come back or something. Then he could even coach up Jason away. It's just too much raw talent. I don't know why he's coming out this year. He probably should come out next year, but hey, why the hell is Wyatt Davis still on the board? Why? Why is he on the board? I hate this. Wyatt Davis has to go here. There's no doubt in my mind. I would give him to the first round of the Raiders. I mean, uh, to the Raiders in the first round. And this is ridiculous. I can't stand the fact that Wyatt Davis is on the board. It, unbelievable. Miami. I mean, cheers. Javante Williams just fell on your lap. None of these teams actually wanted him. Javante Williams is perfect. Perfect fit here. I wanted to bring him to the Steelers, but... Just there wasn't anybody who's willing to trade back. I guess the Jags could have traded back with the Steelers, but I mean, uh, that, that would have been a likely option. Washington, we got to look probably more into the safety route for you guys, just because I know you guys have um, Camden Curl and everything, but uh, it's just I'm not 100% sure if that's the right route. Andre Cisco would be a late, late rounder, though. That, that would be a pretty solid guy for us to get. Honestly, if we want to, we could go linebacker here. Chaz Surratt would be really fun. I think you guys have a guy like Holcomb there. Dude, Chaz Surratt would be a really good addition to the squad. You guys already have your secondary weapon. Now you guys can get Chaz Surratt as well. He could be a first rounder, guys. I'm just saying it could be a first round type of prospect that you guys are getting in Chaz Surratt. I love it so much. So next pick, we got the Bears. Yes, there is a car honking in the background. It's ridiculous. The Bears, honestly, we got to go on this interior of the offensive line. You guys have seen it before. I've gone Deontay Brown before. Landon Dickerson would be fun, but we don't need a center. So we're going to be trading back. Looking at the guys who are on the board, we got Dylan Redunn, still unbelievable. I can't believe he's on the board. The Rams are jumping. Rams are jumping the Seahawks for this one. Dylan Redunn needs to be taken. Um, I, I love Dylan. So we got to go Rams jumping up with the Bears interconference trade. Love it. Obviously, we've seen that fifth round is usually the right value. So we're going to do a fourth and return maybe a sixth and pot, toss in a seventh. That's about the value of a third and a fifth. And um, the, the Bears declined. That's absolutely wonderful. So we're going to drop that. We're just going to send the first and the fourth. Um, actually, maybe we're going to send in a next year four. How about that, guys? Now, there we go. We're going to send in a next year four just because it's probably going to be worth around a fifth round pick, but still. Um, so the Rams definitely need to get Delmer Duns. That's ridiculous they fell that far. I can't believe it. Uh, Colts, you guys already know where I'm going with this. We need a good zone corner here. Paulson, Adebo, Stanford, really high-end corner. Don't know why people are hating on him so much. Just because he lacks athleticism, put him in a zone scheme, he's going to be great. Uh, Titans, we got to go interior defensive line possibly or else wide receiver here. The best ones are on the board. Davion, Nixon, yes, Sir Bree. Love that fit there too. Super beast. Uh, I mean, is there even a question where we should go for the Seahawks? We got to go offensive line. I know some of you guys are like, it's not the type of the right pick. Like, bro, get out of here. I don't think that's a right time, though, especially since the best guy, was, the best guy was just taken off the board. We need to look at a team that probably wants to get a second wide receiver. That team might be the Packers. So looking at it, I just want to make sure that we got Nick Bolton for them. The Packers are trading up with the Seahawks. A really weird trade, right? They, these teams probably hate each other. So the Seahawks are trading with the, uh, the Packers, the cheese heads. And we're going to see, this is a pretty big jump. So we might have to toss in a fourth. We're going to toss in a fifth and we're just going to see how that goes. Obviously if they deny, we'd add in like a seventh or something, but we got to get a guy like Rondale Moore here. I mean, Aaron Robinson would be a really fun option as well, but we just can't do that. The Steelers though, Steelers either got to get some interior defensive line, uh, another corner or probably just a running back, but we can't get a running back right now. I love this idea of Aaron Robinson here. He's a more sticky man coverage type of guy. He's going, he's going to be older and with a team that wants to win, it's probably the right move. So we're going to get Aaron Robinson for the Steelers, just be able to get some extra corner help, some extra youth. I mean, he's going to be about 24, 25, but Hey, 
it's going to be better than a 30 year old, right? So get Aaron Robinson there. Bears, we got to get into your offensive line. I love Landon Dickerson, but again, already got that center spot filled. Deontay Brown, going to be great. Uh, we already added in some extra draft capital as well. Deontay Brown's going to be pretty damn solid at guard. Now, uh, we already know where I'm also going with this pick. We got to get Boogie Basham onto the Browns. Dude, just adding him and Miles Garrett is unbelievable. I love that pick so much. And Ravens, I know I'm going really quickly, guys, but uh, time is a little bit of an issue. Uh, we got to be going more of this tight end route. I love Brevin Jordan here too, man. I just, I love it. I think that he deserves to be in the spot. He's an H-back type. He's going to be really good in the receiving game. Really love to see him here. Um, we got to go linebacker for the Saints as well. If we're going to be realistic, I think that we got to go linebacker here. Baron Browning, uh, it's, it's going to be just a really solid high-end option for the Saints. I think next round we might get Elijah Molden. Baron Browning, he's a beast. He's a beast. If you get his personality in order, which uh, Sean Payton can do, that's the perfect spot for him. Now we can select a tackle in either Spencer Brown or Jackson Carmen. I'm going to go Carmen here. I always do. Some of you guys hate it. I don't really care. I think it's a really good pick. I'm going to stick to it. And Bills. Bills, we probably want to go some offensive line here. Uh, we could get more of – we can get a center here if we want to. But looking at the tackles on the board as well, not really good value. I'm going to be trading back or else if we can find an edge player, which we can't, we're going to be trading back at the spot. There's still Land Dickerson on the board. Is there any team that could use a center, maybe a guard? It's actually a team that doesn't have many picks. It's the Texans. The Texans are going to be trading up with the Bills. I'm trying to find the damn Bills. And they're going to be selecting Landon Dickerson. What a, what a great value. Again, we're going to actually toss in a fifth here because I think that's proper value just to be able to trade back that many spots out of the round. Uh, Land Dickerson is going to be the type of guy that we select here. Wonderful pick. The Chiefs, Chiefs, we got to either build up that interior, the defensive line, and help because obviously you guys got ran on a little bit, or else we got to get you guys some more weapons. Uh, I think Nico Collins could be a really fun guy on your squad. I'm not going to lie. But Amon Ross St. Brown is going to be a lethal weapon to be able to replace Sammy Watkins, guy who has all the skills in the world. I love Amon Ross St. Brown. Lastly, we have, of course, the Buccaneers, champions. We're going interior defensive line here. Jay Tua Fele, love him on the squad. He's going to be able to replace, um, of course, I mean, it depends on if he stays. But if under the condition that Domkin Sue leaves, it's going to be perfect. So that's the video, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. It's fun. Check back tomorrow for round three. I'll see you on the far side. Peace.